express uh, for our middle tier. Let's uh, let's take a look at the documentation for uh, Express. Right, if you go to Express JS, right, this is the official uh, website that has the documentation for Express. Uh, the latest stable version is version four, and uh, here you have a couple examples on how to use it to create. Uh, servers to create middle tier servers, right? And and uh, we'll, you know, basically we're going to use Express to load a, and create a small, little, tiny, you know, but very powerful uh, server. So we're going to copy that, and what we're going to do in our in our uh, Node.js application, we don't really have much, right? We just have hello JS. Uh, we're going to create a server. So let's uh, create a JavaScript file here where we can have implement our server. So server.js. So in here, we're going to paste our uh, express there. And, uh, and, and let's take a look, let's look, a look at for this for a second. So what it's, this is doing is that it's requiring express, meaning express better be installed, right? It's, uh, it's going to try and import it. That's what require does, right? It's, uh, it's Node.js's implementation of modular uh, components that can be imported or required, right, for, so that we can build this and run it. Um, so it's going to, this require, this express is going to be looked for inside of your node on this core modules. It's going to look for express. All right, it's going to find it. Right, and then it's going to import it. Uh, now, whatever whatever uh, is exported by that module is is going to be bound in this variable express, and we'll see how to do that in a minute. Uh, now, whatever is exported, so you could export whatever you want. You can export a single variable. You can export an object. You can export a function. In our case here, Express exports a function called Express. All right. Uh, well, actually, it could be called whenever you want. Right. But here we're binding it to a variable express, and then we are invoking that function. Okay, we're invoking it. This, this is similar to a constructor or factory that the function is going to instantiate something, and whatever that function returns, we are binding it to a local variable. Now, typically, or it's a very common name to call this variable app, meaning it represents the middle tier application, right, that is going to host uh, a lot of. Uh, web services for us. Anyway, we have that. Uh, once we have that, okay, uh, we're, we're going to uh, implement the rest of the server and it's, uh, let's look for listen. There we go. Uh, we're going to copy the rest here, copy this, to create a really, really, really simple application. Okay. Uh, so we're, what we're doing here is saying, um, you know, we have the Express library instantiated. We have an instance, and now this this instance for the application, you can implement uh, any number of routes or routers that says that can listen for incoming HTTP requests. Right? That's what Express does. Express makes it really really easy to create uh, to bind incoming HTTP requests. You know, it's going it's going to start listening. In an infinite loop, waiting for incoming HTTP requests at whatever port you tell it. A very common port in Node.js is using port 3000, uh, and and then it's going to listen for incoming uh, HTTP requests, right? And, and it's going to parse whatever request comes in, depending on what that request looks like, right? Uh, and here we're saying, well, if it starts with slash, meaning basically anything, right? Uh, then, then you know, execute the following callback function. Okay? In our case, the function is a really simple function. Uh, it does have to whatever that function is. It does have to take in two arguments. The two arguments uh, are the first one is uh, represents the incoming request from the from the client. So you have the you have the client here, which is generating a request and that request is being handled or it's being 
uh, received by the server, okay? Uh, and then the server, right, is uh, it's listening for this incoming, so the request might be, you know, HTTP colon slash slash my app, right, and then ends with slash. So this slash is this slash right here, which is going to invoke this particular route, okay? Uh, and then the server can generate a response back to the client. So the client is going to receive a response, okay? And the response in this case is hello world. It's going to contain the text hello world that's going to be generated by the server. The server is going to generate a, a, a response. So together, right, the request and response allows our, you know, we're going to be focusing on the server today, okay? We've been focusing last week on creating our client, right? And we've been sending requests to our generic server. This, this week, we're going to be focusing on implementing the server side, right? Obviously, we already have a server up and running somewhere, right? but you don't own that, I own that, right? We're going to, we want to learn how to build those kinds of servers, right? And so together, the request and response allows the server to participate in a client-server architecture, right? That allows us to, uh, to respond to requests, right? By sending a response to that request. In this case, we're saying response, send back a hello world, right? And we're gonna be listening forever for import 3000. All right, so let's try it out here at the command line. Uh, we have the server, and we just run it. You know, just like we ran our hello, we can say node server.js. Okay, now it's blocked. Before, right, it ran the hello JS and it was done, right? It printed the information and the text, and it was done. Here, it is never going to be done, right? It's, it's going to forever listen to port 3000 for incoming requests. Let's try it out, right? It's going to be listening at port 3000. Right, and we can say um, localhost 3000, there it is, and slash, right, it's mapped to slash. And there it is. Notice that it responded with a uh, hello world. Yes? All right, so that's the easiest and simplest, most trivial, you know, uh, express, Node.js express uh, server middle tier.